sometimes in this freak show, you literally have to sit back and laugh. What am I talking about? Well, I don't know how many of you this morning were watching Bloomberg. Okay, we got this this jobs number. Today's jobs number, very anticipated. Market was waiting, waiting to see what this number would be like. It's real. Okay, so like I said, I'm sitting here and I'm watching Bloomberg. All of a sudden, the number crosses the screen. The first reaction, the first reaction from the staff at Bloomberg was laughter. Laughter. So kudos my hat goes off to you Steph at Bloomberg you realize how fake this number is has no bearing on reality so yes today's job number came miraculously better than they thought oh yeah but let's go back to yesterday just yesterday we found out what first time unemployment claims came in unexpectedly higher continuing claims unexpectedly higher but today Today, oh, forget about what happened yesterday. Today, we're adding jobs. And again, the reaction from Bloomberg, I don't know about the other channels, I wasn't watching, but Bloomberg was laughter. That should tell you something. They realize how fake these numbers are, but but they got they can play the game. They could laugh. And again, I, I commend them for, for laughing at this, this fake data. None of it is real. You know what this is? This is part of the Joe Bidenstein re-election campaign. Again, they need to get either the thing that's already there or some facsimile of it uh, to be elected or re-elected here. Because why? What are we watching going on? How about yesterday? Let's let's touch on that. How the thing, Biden Stein said, oh yeah, you know, we're going to be raising taxes because we need to do that. But no talk whatsoever about cutting spending or cutting subsidies to big oil for which he wants to tax big oil. I'm all for taxing big oil. Okay, but we're still going to subsidize it. How does that work? We're subsidizing big oil and we're subsidizing big pharma who's, who's raping all of us here. Uh, what, what did he say about Big Pharma? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we cut back on you know uh, spending on ridiculous things. You mean uh, maybe things like this? Oh, I can't say the word anymore. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Uh, but anyway, you can't make this stuff up. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Today we get this miraculous number and laughter out of Bloomberg. Meanwhile, yesterday we find out these everything came in miraculously higher, but today it's miraculously better. What did we talk about at the end of last year? Watch for this exact same thing. More deceptions, more distractions, more look here, don't look there, mind twisting, psyops, and everything you can possibly think about. People, we are in a systemic breakdown, a systemic meltdown of the current system here, and it's getting progressively worse. So just honestly, I, I think most of you understand this. Now, how about this debt market? Are you watching what's going on? The MMRI. As I am doing this video, drop below 250, below 250, which was the first line in the sand, a massive, massive, off the freaking Richter scale effort right now is going on to push bond yields down. This started yesterday. It started yesterday with the market sell-off. We watched the MMRI drop. We watched the 10-year yield drop a little bit, um, but but overnight, epic epic amount of debt buying. Who's buying all the debt? Well, I think you know, this is central banks. Again, they're watching the debt market here. We know it's a time bomb. It's ticking louder. It's ticking faster. And obviously they're not done pumping it. Uh, who knows what's going to end up happening here? I don't think any action that they do is enough to prevent a massive sell-off eventually to occur. But they're in here right now. Look at the 10-year yield. We were just over 4%. 4% earlier in the week. We are now at 3.8, 3.80. Do you have any idea how much debt buying there would have to, uh, that would have to occur to cause a move like that? An unbelievable amount. And, you know, look, despite this, this, this fake completely in our face fake number that we got today oh it's better than expected but remember yesterday everything was worse than expected oh don't worry about yesterday just think about today because joe biden or some some it like him oh needs to be reelected, and joe biden is going to tout this number but he won't tout yesterday's number he'll tout today's number watch watch when it comes out later and talks on the news about it anyway it's all a farce it's all a fantasy but again um it's this debt market uh, charade is pretty incredible. 
Started yesterday, really got going overnight. It's going on right now, MMRI below our first red line in the sand. With that, stock futures right now are relatively flat, meaning stocks are going to open relatively flat. Let's see what they do. Again, people, the illusion of stability in the debt market must be maintained. Otherwise, this whole thing will come down, and I mean come down. You understand? I think, look, I don't think they're done. I still don't think they're done. The fact that they're in here, central banks buying en enormous amounts of debt. I mean, think about what it would take to have the 10-year yield fall from just over 4% to 3.8% in just a matter of days, okay? We watched the MMRI cross 260, we're at 260.1, I believe was the high for the, for the week. Now we're below 250. <laughs> they are trying to pump this market, people. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I guess we're going to have to see people because, again, how, how many times did we discuss right here that without direct action from central banks, this whole thing is going to come apart. I mean, let's look at this market since the MMRI crossed 250. We've had, I don't know how many down days, uh, basically in the last 15 or 16 trading days, we've had like three positive days for the S&P 500. And um, let's see what they pull off. Again, if, if they manage, let's just keep your eye on the MMRI because I'm telling you right now, if they manage to push the MMRI lower, maintain the illusion of stability in a completely unstable market, I'm talking about the debt market here, which is the backbone, which is the driver of the stock market, well, then the stock market will go higher. If they cannot maintain that charade, it's over. It's over for the market. It's over for everything. I explained this phenomenon to you. When, Burry, when Michael Burry came out with his prediction of a crash, when Rickards came out with his prediction of a crash by mid-year, I said, all of it, they may be right. But it, it's all dependent on what happens in the debt market. If, if the illusion of stability is maintained, stocks are going up. If the MMRI, bang, 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 continues to rise, stocks are going down. You see, we don't have to guess. We don't have to guess. You can get these predictions from Burry and, and from Rickers and from, I think, no less than four Wall Street banks here uh, saying that we got a big problem here in the market. Yes, yeah, sure, of course we do. But it all depends on the debt market. Anyway, so let me just cover what I wanted to talk about here. So let's, you know, let's talk about the market. So stock futures, like I said, relatively flat. Gold and silver catching a bid right now. Cryptocurrencies under a little pressure right now. Uh, crude oil slightly higher this morning. Relative strength of the dollar lower. And as I said, 10-year yield 3.8. MMRI 2.47, 2 no, I'm sorry, 247 to 248. <laughs> I got these decimal points on the brain this morning. Anyway, so heavy debt buying, which started yesterday, playing out overnight. This is central banks, period, the freaking end. And this whole thing, I mean, honestly, I, I love I love it when a little bit of truth comes out. I don't know about you, but I, I used to play a lot of poker back in the day. And you get to learn to read people, uh, what they're thinking, without even seeing what their cards may be. But the initial reaction today from the staff at Bloomberg on this miraculous number was laughter. And I'm laughing too. And I'm sure you are as well. But again, this is, and you're going to hear this number being played out. And some, maybe even some people on YouTube are going to believe the data is true, but none of it's real. It's all fake. <laughs>